Now we have the correct runners up there. Oh, yeah. All right, so we have Zex versus Aspion. Zex with a huge win rate of 72% across uh, all the previous tourneys. Old school, first joined an MT2 and immediately won. Powerful player, having uh, two, two championships under the belt. Up against Aspion, who is... Uh, not not quite so established, but that's never stopped someone before. Uh, what, uh, what? Which which match are we in? Is this winners losers bracket? This is winners three. Winners three. Well, yeah. there you have it. Uh, the perfect reason to not think like you may look at that and think, "Oh, Zex, that's a given, right?" But this is winners three. That's two wins so far. Um, I'm not sure against two, but it, it really doesn't matter. That still can, that's still big upset, and we could see it like something crazy happen here from Aspion. So, I mean, I mean Aspion know. is, you know, Aspion's a bit newy to this, but it's a solid player. He's been doing well this tournament, been Indeed. sticking around. You never want to discount a new player, they can, they can like blow you away. So, Super looking forward to see how those two compare. Old versus new. Be very exciting. So, who are our other two in this double? Oh, the other two. Two more solid players. We have Bungaboo versus Pipe. And we in losers three now. Winners three and losers three. Bungaboo are brand new, but hey, still making progress, still um, cl climbing that ladder. Not we're uh, we're, pa we're past the beginning stages. Everyone here has proven themselves. I've I've I must admit I've not caught uh, many of the, their matches, so I'm looking forward to see how they perform here against Piper. Who? Uh, am, ooh, am I reading that right? Did the that's a win rate of 0% or is that an error? Cause that sounds like an error. I mean, it's, I mean, sometimes, sometimes you just go 0 and 2, like stuff happens. I, well, I Nothing guess Nothing to so. be ashamed well, about. That's true. That is very true. It's just good to check these things, especially when, well, not 0 and 2 this time if we, if they've gotten that far in the tournament. Yeah, it's so like. We got, yeah, they definitely have gone places. Like, he's definitely holding up. He's shown his yeah. stuff this time. Be like truly fascinating to see because we've got we essentially have three oh very God. new races. Some of them have joined a, a couple MTs back, like uh, fifteen and fourteen. But see, seeing all these new races up and, and Zex as oh my, I, I hate to say this to Zex, but essentially a comparison to see how how everything else will stack up because that's that's not to say anything inherent about skill or the odds but uh the longer you are here the more it does tend to lend itself to more consistent playing that is where the experience can come in i think i might finally have found something I hope, just from the name of this, I hope, I hope we can play this one. Oh boy, that's, that's always a great sign, isn't it? <laughs> Trust me, Chad, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm eagerly anticipating this just as much as you are. I've not opened the IRC or anything. I'm just jumping in the, to spice things up a bit. Oh no. I mean, of course, it sounds familiar. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, that's a shame. No, no, no. They can't be following. They can't be. 
We can't not not be blind. Double, double. Oh. A double, uh, you know, a double is fun, but it, it does multiply the chances of someone being familiar with the game. Mm-hmm. Sparrow, we we are fair and random in our game picking. We would never just give someone a terrible game out of spite or just just to laugh at their misery. That is, we actually wouldn't. We are random when we pick out games. We we do randomly pick. And now reject. That's some, another matter. Yeah, rejects they'll fail game. They can like be like, oh, you want something trash? Here you go. Not not just that, but that can be, oh, these people are racing? I've got something special for them. And it's just the worst, their worst style of game. Because apparently we all like to suffer around here. We finally got a game. Let's go. So, all four runners are playing too. I believe I have seen this game before, but I've not actually played it. Oh, I'm going through the paste bin now, and it tells you to enter a cheat code in it. That's always oh. a good sign. To be fair, that doesn't inherently say anything about the game. Oftentimes, that's just a matter of having infinite lives to avoid an unfair game over. Yeah, I mean, that's like, exactly what it's doing, but it's... <laughs> like, how brutal is this game going to potentially be? Well, that's what we're here to find out, isn't oh. it? I mean, from the sound of the goal, it doesn't seem too bad. But, uh, I don't know, we have four players here. It's going to be pretty interesting to see how it goes. Still, in the past, sometimes we've had long, long stretches of... Played the game, played the game, played the game, played the game. So, <laughs> you know, uh, even if it's painful, nice to have a game that can, we can race. I, I'm definitely noticing it becoming more and more common, like the further along we get in the tournament. I mean, I think that's also just by the notion of like, oh, these are more experienced players. They probably have played more games. And, oh, I don't have the itch bundle, or I, you know, I can't use a mouse right now, and it's like, can the more stuff like that. Yeah, there's, it's, it's just a matter of there are only so many games that are really reasonably blind raceable. So, you know, we keep searching, we keep digging them up, we keep coming up with new ideas. My friend and I, like, like one weekend we just like kind of did a whole bunch of blind races together, and we have a lot of good fodder for MT17. So nice. it's not going to be a problem next time. Also, uh, it Bunhop, uh, if you wanted terrible games, you wait for Reject Tournament, or you join Crystal Grande. I hear that's their thing. I mean, Reject Tournament, like, Rejects aren't all about trash games. There's a lot of good games, but with just questionable goals. While true, it does have a higher than average presence of trash games. I mean, there's a lot of trash games in main tournament. And there's a lot of hidden gems in Reject. Can't disagree with that.
I mean, I'm never gonna sleep on Reject. Yeah, you can't miss a Reject tournament. You never know what's gonna happen. But what are you saying? We're not gonna get another Reject tournament. I... <laughs> Yeah, and it like does like when I mean, there's nothing planned for Reject tournament. Probably, I mean, might be just a one off or I guess two off thing, so. Maybe, but in doing more Mystery Tournament, we will inevitably end up with more Rejects, so. It'll happen eventually, I I'll bet ya. Just not soonish. Probably a bit too close to the last Reject tournament. We can hope for it happening, but we definitely can't expect anything to happen. No, but really, what tournaments get run just comes down to what tournaments the people want to play. I mean, there seems to be a lot of good tournament ideas out there. It's just, you know. So what you're saying is, we need tournament, tournament. Yeah. Where we complete multiple tournament ideas, and whoever <laughs> wins the most tournaments wins the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I I could definitely be down for something like that, the tournament of tournaments. You got to make it a Swiss system, so you have to experience all the tournaments. Exactly. is just in the nature of the double race. Takes longer to get people set up, make sure everyone's ready to go. We wouldn't want any issues right after starting especially. Like, if if one player has an issue, that's sort of multiplied uh, when, when there's two races involved in the same game. So we just chill. Stare at the water and the lawnmower. All these lovely things Maurice made for us. They're so relaxing though, like, why would you not ever want to just sit back and enjoy all that's going on? Exactly. It's essentially that one minigame from Mario 64 DS where you have to guess the card. Except we're not pretending to be psychic when in reality there's just a faint outline of one. Almost done here. I think we're almost ready. Oh uh, boy. Oh man. What's that, chat? Y'all ready? You gonna tease the chat just a tiny bit more? 
You got any guesses for the game? What, what, what's what's floating around in your people's heads? What are you hoping for? Genre? Series? What, what's, what are people hoping to see? Still go on. <laughs> Sparrowhawk, I should ban you for that. <laughs> Who doesn't I, love it? Who doesn't love a good Sokoban anyway? It's not about love. It's about number, and so Sokoban's number is through the damn roof. Pet Sim, that... I I mean, me and Raw did race the Sims 2 pets once. Does that count? Everything looks fine. I'm ready for the big reveal. Oh wait, where's audio? Oh boy. Where's audio? Oh, also, if you want to go live on Discord, if I can, so that you not have delay. Freeware gravity game? Uh, yeah, that's... I've definitely seen a fair share of those. Freeware loves its weird gravity physics mechanics. So the game is Puzzling Desu for the Super Nintendo. Oh man. Puzzling Desu. Or Puzzling Des. Puzzling. Uh, how you want. It's te I mean, it's Puzzling Des, but it's so hard not to not to just say the Desu. You just gotta meme it up. And uh, look, I'll be honest. Seeing the the protagonist here, my mind just immediately goes to the room, room Runescape gnome child, the big green pointy hat. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, but a puzzle game always a good match to see. Oh, I love me a good puzzle, a nice simple puzzle game. What can possibly go wrong? Apparently mythical is the reason we have the infinite timer cheat. Oh boy. Oh no. Well, this should be interesting. <laughs> Hopefully they all read the pace bin and knew to enter in the cheat. I would be a little sad if something like that happens. You always gotta make sure you read the pace bin. Always read the pace pen. Hey, uh, are they off? Looks like they're off. They're off. <laughs> Sparrowhawk called it. Ah, uh, yeah, you want to uh, take the timer. Oh, oh, I always forget the timer, dang it. <laughs> ah, well, thankfully this isn't one where it's, uh, it's very straightforward. It looks like you just got to kick these blocks together and make them disappear uh so it's it's uh po it's more of a pokemon uh ice area than a sokoban it looks like who doesn't love slide and block puzzle games that's true it's a fantastic genre and all of mystery tournament should be nothing but slide and block puzzles um, and Mythical, everyone looks like they're going the same speed. I think it is just a frame rate issue um, for Aspion. You know, not everyone can stream at 60. It's, it's how it is. But, uh, all our races going pretty fast through it, except for Bungaboo, who has unfortunately made a cube that does not work. Looks like these things need to be in a line in order to disappear. Ooh. Does Bungaboo know how to restart the stage? Figuring out that advanced tech. Oh no. Does the pace bin say how to reset the stage? Yes. Is there? It does? Th there okay. is a pace bin and it does tell you how to uh, restart. And, uh... Yeah, that's, that's it then. So long as there is a way, then that's just how it is. And oh, fading to white. That's probably it. 
Yep, there we go. Bugaboo getting back on track. A nice little uh, victory, dude. With an unfortunate delay, and also, ooh, while while the others going ahead, Bungaboo on sadly having trouble with the stage. And oh goodness, the stage Aspion is on. That looks like it'd give me nightmares. Oh no. Ugh, just the the so many figuring out what you can and can't mix together. Ugh. I can I mean... see why the infinite timer cheat was added now. This is the sort of game that it. Get, it'd be painful to just reset because you ran out of time. I, I I feel like I feel like the Aspion stage is just you gotta push like just push everything flatwise together and it should all disappear. But maybe I I'm not like are, understanding there, it. I think there are multiple ways to to go about it. Um, like, like here. Uh, oh, ooh, yep. No, Aspion's yep, yep, still pulling it yep, off the pink Aspion blocks. Gets, getting this. Ooh. No, the other one. I could see... I Oh, I think the challenge of this one is you might make blocks disappear earlier than you need to. Indeed. And find yourself a... in an unwinnable situation. Absolutely a concern. Yep. Like, as long as Aspion pushes everything northbound or southbound, then you should be good. Aspion just, just looking like he's just waiting and confirming, which is definitely the smart move as we see Zex having to restart the level anyway. Yep. Ah, and, and finding the solution by pushing those ones down first. And then the other one's across. Very nice. Aspion gets it. And with that, Aspion taking the lead against uh, the the more experienced Zex. I, yeah. I told you all. You never know. You never know. Oh my goodness. Uh, now this looks like nightmare scenario. Oh my god. Oh, it just came up on stream. Oh. Oh no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's oh, not no. okay. You can't do that. That's not okay. That is very much not okay. Oh my goodness. Like I, I know, okay, it, it looks like there are some very straightforward methods, but you can't just do that. To, you can't drop a puzzle like that on someone. That's, uh, like, you're at risk of the giving them a heart attack. You've got to uh, give warning signs before you just drop a square of colors like that. But Aspion not intimidated, rolling through all of the all of these blocks that are in the way. <laughs> oh my god! I I just look back at, at Aspion's screen and it's like my brain it's already still half gone. my brain still hurts. Aspion just just Aspion just pulling out. <laughs> I, like one hell of a performance for these puzzles. Oh my! Sex just now reaching the stage, pausing to comprehend what it is they're looking at. <laughs> I've been focused on the winners, but uh, it's worth noting that the the losers bracket match they are essentially neck and neck trying to get through these puzzles. Which uh, will certainly make things interesting once they up the ante, as we've seen from the winners bracket players. Yeah. Like it's always nice when, you know, like the people who are actually racing getting stuck on like the same areas. That is true. It, it's nice to keep things close and not inherently feel like the race is already over. Even though, let's be fair, it's Mystery Tournament, anything could happen. There's nothing stopping a crazy race result from occurring at any point in any of these games. <laughs> Piper gets the, uh, the solve on 1-3 and moves Indeed. on. Indeed. Pushes ahead. Moving on to the Rainbow Trapezoid. At least I think it's a trapezoid. I don't know geometry very well. It is a trapezoid, if I remember yes. correctly.
One six just looks. It's one of those that, like, from afar, far it doesn't look too difficult. But I think once you actually try to solve it, it's pretty easy. It's one of those puzzles that are easy to mess up. But... Oh, for sure. This this whole game okay. seems to have that kind of energy. It's given that okay. the block slides all the way along until they hit something. It's well, if you've ever played Pokemon, as I said, you know the pain. <laughs> You think you have it right, but then it just keeps going, and you go, oh no. Not that our races seem to be having trouble with that, they are. Oh! Oh, Bungaboo, unfortunately, kicking the wrong one first. No, no! Aspion having to restart the stage, essentially putting him on, on uh on par with Zex at this point, but with a bit more experience, so time will tell if that uh, pays off for him. Myth mythical uh, saying the purples and blues need to be solved together. Mythical? Uh, you, you should, you, I feel like you should know that um, as viewers, we inherently solve the puzzle in our head. Yeah, it's like, I've had this puzzle solved, but to yeah. explain and walk it all out just seems... I don't know. It's... There's, well, there's a reason so many streamers get called blind, but... That's just how it is when the pressure's on, whether that's because you're streaming to a large audience or racing in Mystery Tournament. of Zex moving on to the next stage with a bunch of boxes. Another one of those that looks painful at first, but perhaps is not as rough as it seems. Yeah. Though it seems to be a little bit more tricky than stage 5 was. It does seem a lot easier to like push the wrong blocks at the wrong time and not entrap yourself. That is true. There's there's this thing I keep encountering with puzzle games where some stages, like uh, the stage that uh, Zex and Aspion have just cleared, that were very o open. Like, there was no inherent structure in the level. And I, I know I personally have always found those harder than any stage that, like the stages that all our players are on now, that have a fixed pattern, and at least in my head, therefore have a fixed solution. Yeah, like, I always found it easier as to, like... I, I want there to be just a lot of things to do, like... I'm the type of player when it comes to puzzle games that I want to, like, try everything. And I want to try everything quickly. Whereas in a puzzle like this, if you try everything, you're going to just play way too slow. And you have to, like, think about it. And I don't want to stop and think about it. I just want to push blocks in some direction and gen then just try to, like, casually come to the solution. And if yeah, you I ask me about weird. it after the race, I'd be like, I don't know how I solved that. I just pushed blocks. Yeah, and I think that's where having a uh, like a, a structured level, I guess, but not, not in traditional sense, but like where there's a pattern right from the beginning, can make things a bit easier to try everything because it already feels like it's limiting in what you can even try. Zex moving on to the next world, it looks like, Ooh. or next stage, I guess. Yep, stage two. And we're like in the clouds now, or is that the sea? It looks like the sea. Uh, I think that's the sea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's like floating on top of the ocean. Oh. This game is so this relaxing. Is, yeah, I love the sprites of this game. It is quite cute. And we're like pushing yeah. little colored fishies around and... Yeah. Zex definitely pulling ahead. Uh, but... Yeah. You never, we don't we don't know what stage two has in store for us. I mean it, it's a puzzle game. Literally anything can happen. 
Exactly. It could suddenly turn into a shooter. You don't know. Anything could happen. I mean, yeah, I guess anything could happen, but... And I say, I say that um, with some seriousness, uh, as I have flashbacks of playing pilot wings and suddenly it turned into a Vietnam shooter. Oh my goodness, yes. That is, uh... I don't think you would ever expect something like that, but... I, I know I didn't. <laughs> it was... It was the last thing on my mind. And yet, there it was. I hated how they, like, felt like... Oh, we can't have, like, this cute little, like, tech demo type relaxing experience. We gotta actually have some gameplay to all this. Oh, don't get me wrong. I absolutely loved that it turned into a Vietnam shooter. I d I'm just not sure I loved it for the reasons the developer intended. <laughs> Zex being very careful, not wanting to mess this up right at the end. There, there we go. There we go. Zex pulling ahead another stage as Aspion catches up to the start of stage two. Moves on to two, three. Ooh. I gotta be honest, where I playing this game, this is one of those games where I would have to turn the music off. Ooh. It, 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 it's no Glasskeeper Glavis. These songs would drive me insane. I can, I say that with absolute certainty. I don't know, I I definitely appreciate, like, ambionic kind of, like, droning in puzzle games. It's like, the music doesn't have to be good, and I almost don't want the music to be good. I just want something there. And That's the... fair. I, I find the issue comes when you're, like, getting frustrated and stuck on a puzzle, and yet the game's still just whistling at you, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> it's just whistling. And you're you're losing your mind over how you can solve a puzzle, and it just keeps whistling. I mean, the game's innocent. It's just, it lives in its own little world, and it's like it just wants to be cute. And you're like this little gnome thing, and it's like, it's so cute. Do do do. Yeah, but we we're, we're a mystery tournament. We're well aware that the <laughs> cutest games can be the most brutal. It's known by us and Kirby players. <laughs> but that little pink pup is so innocent. He just eats candy all day. Yes, absolutely nothing wrong with the pink weapon of destruction. <laughs> ah, but we're getting off track here. Zach's still moving ahead, um, maintaining about the same lead ahead of Aspion. Really just, um, after having pulled ahead on the, uh, I suppose, square stage, um, seems to have truly paid off for him. Unfortunately, I'm not sure they've sold this one correctly. Oh no. Meanwhile, on the loser's bracket, both players, now on the um, clown vomit of death, uh, and make, making good progress, slowly whittling away at the wall of blocks. Um, you know, co uh, conquering the fear of too many items appearing in a puzzle game. I mean, to be fair, it's like, like, this is the easiest way to, like, introduce just, like, a massive cluster of colors and not have it be overwhelming because you can, you can kind of just push any block and you're probably on the right path close like, enough to that yeah there there are some where you you wouldn't want to push them the wrong way but that's enough to to get by yeah like the game's not gonna hold your hand but it's like a little bit of tough love. It's like the game cares about you, 
it doesn't want you to suffer at least yet. So it'll give you something Please, very yeah. intimidating, but you got the confidence, you got the know-how, you can do it. I believe Six. in you. Mythical definitely being right, though, is this, this one is definitely a tricky one. Just all, all the same color, that's one of those cases where it seemingly simple, oh. you, you know it's going to make the puzzle worse, or at least harder. <laughs> And this is where slide and block puzzles begin to show their true face. The true terror that comes from just blocks on ice. Yeah. We we all love our Sokoban. There's a reason we don't question what's inside the boxes. <laughs> As I said, the cutest games can be the most brutal and sinister. Curious if Puzzle and Desu is a series. I'm gonna look this up. Oh, the game does feature a stage builder, though. Whoa. Puzzle and Desu tournament, in any anyone? Yeah, there's gotta be like a repository. Like, there's got to be, like, a GeoCities Japan site with, like, one guy who has uploaded, like, a thousand puzzles of this game. Oh, you know it. One day we're going to come across that. And I'll be like, yo, one night only tournament? Puzzle and Desu? Let's go. Yeah, looking at the developer, it doesn't... Wait... What are they? <laughs> was a Japanese uh, Nichi Butsu was a Japanese. I probably butchered that. Japanese video game developer and publisher. In the past, they had also manufactured and sold yachts. Yo. Huh. Cool little lore. I'm down. They uh, they also made um. Oh, they made the, oh they made some arcade games that um. Ooh. I don't think I can mention on the stream, oh. so let's move on from them. <laughs> okay. You gotta be good on stream. They're well known for Crazy Climber. I've never heard of Crazy Climber. <laughs> and then I'm gonna look it up and it's a game I've played before. Yeah, that's about how it works. Crazy Climber, it... Kind of looks like that one Spider-Man Atari game, but not bad. Actually, no, you know what this looks like? This looks like uh, Fix-It Felix from Wicked Ralph. <laughs> uh, but no, it's just a, a, a retro game climbing up. I, I can see why this got popular. From yachts to other games, from yachts to games, they, they don't seem to have a very specific... Uh, niche thing they're, they're, they're no from software they don't spend their whole days making making the same thing Zex unfortunately I don't think can solve this puzzle now no oh. restarting back to the beginning Oh, but Aspie on finding it! Oh! The, the double clear make k pulling ahead of Zex. The back to back oh. flea change. Let's go. Ooh. As I said, it's never over till it's over. <laughs> wow. 
what is this? It's act okay, actually this kind of looks like an easy stage Espeon's on. It seems very straightforward. Well, maybe that's just me. No, no, never mind, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I don't it's know. Like... <laughs> no, I don't think it's that difficult. Oh! Nope, hello. never mind! Oh my hello. god! Hello! <laughs> the le legend are just instantly seeing the solution. Oh my god. Aspion, you legend! Whew. We can only dream of solving puzzles that quickly with such finesse. But how would Aspion get out of this one? Now I'm curious, where, where did the prediction sit on this particular match? How, how did the challenge predictors think this would play out? I'm curious. Also, we've been focused on the lead, but can we point out that Luz, uh, Bugaboo and Piper have been just neck and neck, like this whole time? Oh, I've been noticing. I've been watching it's kind of legend, like, it's kind of amazing. We have two very solid matches. What more can you expect out of Mystery Tournament? These are two insane races. Aspion can keep this lead, definitely gonna upset a lot of uh, challenge predictions. <laughs> oh, but I think Zex has found a solution. Oh. Not not quite as, as clean, but it looks like it did work. It is a solution. That's all you can ask for in a puzzle game. It is a solution. And Piper makes it past 1-7. And so does Bungaboo! Oh my god. They these, enter these, into stage this two. double is insane. Oh my goodness. Sex sadly does not have the insane solve. In no, but stage. still a good one. Yeah, it's looking solid. He's got it. And it's all tied up again. Aspion getting rid of the blue, just leaving the pink. Oh, I see it. Does Aspion know? I don't know. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. You can yes, do you're it. Yes, there. And does it does. Uh, uh, that way works too, I guess. Oh no. No, Espeon! <laughs> you were so close! Oh, the reset. Thinking he'd messed up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh. Uh, but sometimes, you know, when you're a viewer, things just look different. Zex, on the other hand, oh, no. coming along. But can this be solved from here? I don't know. I don't think he can. I don't know if that was a crazy solve mythical. That might have been a mistake. Yeah, Zex restarting.
both our uh, bottom players making it to stage two with I believe Bungaboo a stage ahead. Yeah, most definitely. Piper's kinda a little stuck on the first stage, but looks like they may get it get it this time. Yeah, well Aspion and Zex just just having the stare down with the stage. Well you know there's some like Doctor Strange seeing a million possible futures stuff going on as they try to find a solution. Looking at like ten thousand different possibilities in their head. It's like Oh well, Piper least... with an unfortunate end to that stage. Oh. Not quite pulling it off. What is this ma like, in, in, crazed madness that Zex seems to be pulling off? Oh my, oh my goodness. I turned my head for one second and the pinks are gone. But is that going to work? That's still the question. I don't know if it is. I don't, I don't think oh, it will. Oh, wait, it might. It might. It might. I think there is one way for Zex to finish this. Can it? I don't know. Oh? Oh! I don't know if that was it. Uh, I'm not liking this. Oh. Wait, no, Zex has got oh it! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, what a solve! Pulling ahead, another lead change! This is insane! Meanwhile, losers both now on the same stage as well! Oh, this oh. match! I love how intense it gets when everybody just stands still in a puzzle game. It's, it's what you have to do sometimes. You just have to think. It's puzzles after all. That's what the thinky brain is for. Which, oh, Zex. I think yeah, Zex it, might be seeing the code here. Yeah, I, this one doesn't look too rough in all honesty. I, I think Zex has just solved it. Yeah, it's yes. just order of operations. Is that it? I don't know what stage that was. That's stage seven. Is, is that the end? Does the pace been say? It It is the end! That's it! Zex pulls up barely! Wow! Oh! That was, that was something. The back and forth of that match is insane. Absolutely legendary. Amazing play from both players. Don't forget to put the little, little winner on Zex. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna give him the dude. Looks like Zex uh, still going. Yeah, still just, just playing just continuing, on. Continuing on the next stage. Okay. I, I don't know if they want to come in for um comment commentary mm -hmm. or not. And this is where you've got to wonder what's going through the mind of the the lower match, because they've they've. At the stage they are now, they are both on the same stage, and yet they have just seen a dot done from Zex. I mean, this this is where where some some strange mind games can come into play for oneself, because you don't know that your partner, that your opponent, is on the same stage that you are. For all you know, they they could be right at the end, just like Zex was. I, I can, think can make for quite the match. 
Quite, quite the mind, mind thinky. I totally lost the thread of that sentence. <laughs> I think both players know that Zex is a strong player, so they're probably not too concerned. However, once if Aspion dot's done, then then they're probably gonna start sweating. That is true, and I don't think we're far off from seeing that. I know. Aspion with finding the clean salt for the blue blocks. Aspion's found it. He's seen the light. It out. Very nice. What were you saying about when Aspion got done? That's oh, when no. they'll start sweating. <laughs> well, it's only that last stage, which was relatively straightforward for Zex. Let's see if Aspion uh, has the same luck or same not luck, but same thoughts. There's this... I feel like you, there's just one block you need to push before you push any other blocks. No, the, the, um, the, the red one is the first one you have to match, but after that, it, the, this final stage is just very clean. Yeah, but you want to push the blue block over before you... Just make no, the no, block, Espeon's still it? fine. Yeah. Yeah, they got this. There, there we go. Espeon's got it. Very nice. Hmm. Oh, and now is a dot done. Aspion, only only a few minutes behind Zex after so many lead changes. What an insane match that was. And we've still got the bottom two going, just, just oh, what a, what a doubles this has turned into. As Piper pulls ahead of stage. Do either of our winners players want to come in for commentary? Zex has the night comms. But, uh, Aspion has not given a response yet. Hmm. Well, it's, it's, well, they've got plenty of time if, if, uh, he wants, if Aspion wants to change his mind. Of course. Ooh, but Piper, I think, just figuring out the soul for this stage. Right. How do I do this? I guess there's not an easy way to do this. Okay. Oh, Aspion says they were more than fine coming in. Okay, well, um, if they want to just hop in the waiting room, either of us can drag them down. Yep. So, let me get two players up. And then... Boom. Oh, no. Here we go.
Oh no. Get our main players on board. Ah, the joys of technical setup. I I love technical setup. It's the greatest. I'm I'm lucky. I I have not yet acquired the keys to the funhouse, so I don't have to deal with any of it. Well, I, I just came I... in to do commentary. You think we have the keys, but we do not. We just have like we have like a little latch that goes to like the shed in the back. That's all we got. Yeah, but so long as there's an Ethernet port. <laughs> oh no. Where the music go? Come back, music. I must admit, there's something in the eyes of this little gnome person. As, as, as they just stare into the abyss of the fish blocks, thinking, what, what, is the, what is the path? Is this the way? It's near impossible to tell. Uh, Internet Dimensional, I think Desu is just, isn't it essentially, uh, it's, it's like a, something you can just say at the end of, there, there's some uses for it, but I, I think it's just like a conversational thing, uh, that you would end certain statements with. I'm not proficient, fluent enough in Japanese to tell you which ones, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Th that's why you have the meme of desu 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 desu. Alright, let's try Gaspion down. Okay. Uh, turns out I do not have that permission. Oh. Well. Yeah, I... You might? Greetings, there greetings. Aspion amazing play uh, it's coming in so close behind zex before we go into too much detail i gotta ask how do you think you did in that race yeah i feel like i was going going pretty smoothly until like the last couple levels where you couldn't just throw everything at the edge yeah um, you definitely seem to have some trouble with the one that with the uh blues and the purples there right at the mm -hmm. end yeah. Uh, I, I can tell you that throughout that match, there was, uh, up until the final moments, there was absolutely no way to predict who, who would have won. You and Zex were having constant lead changes. It was quite amazing to watch, actually. Yeah, that, that's great to hear going up against someone who's, you know, with Zex's record. Yeah, you may have lost, but you put up an excellent showing. But what did you think of the game itself? How did you find this little known puzzler? Uh, it's definitely interesting, you know, sort of different way to apply, you know, the, like match three, you know, the jeweled skill, match three skills. That's for sure. Match three, more like match fish, because it's a fish. Curious, do, do you think it made for a good blind race? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely about, you know, you know, pre pretty solid thing and, you know, mechanics that you may have seen before, but, you know, combine in a neat way. You know, you've probably seen a bunch of things about, like, matching, you know, matching groups of three, and you've seen stuff about ice physics, but... Yeah, maybe, maybe the combination is uh, a little more novel. Maybe, but certainly made for an entertaining race. Yeah. 
Also, uh, I, I, as a fun fact for you, the company that made this game also used to manufacture yachts. I don't know if that says anything about the game. I was just looking it up during a race and found it fascinating. Uh, yes, currently we are just uh, continuing to watch Bungaboo and Piper uh, go at it as Piper now has a solid lead, though the two have been very close this entire time. Oh, for most of the race being on the same stage, in fact. Uh, but as for you, you are sadly moving down to loser's bracket. Though I, I say sadly, but you get more matches in loser's bracket. So really, who's the real loser? Yeah, and yeah, this is already my best performance in MT so far, even if, you know, I go out immediately, so. Indeed. It's been quite the impressive turn to have made it so far in winners and... Oh, who knows how far you'll go and lose this? How many time will tell? Uh, I cannot update your match, but I can check who you are up against next. One seventy-five. Oh, okay. So you looks like you may have a bit before your next match. As um, first they we are uh, Polter, Ghost, and Plumbo. I don't know if these challenge names are their actual names, but they need to resolve their match. The winner of that will fight Mr. Moggy, and then you will be fighting the winner of that match. Uh, in Losers 4. Okay, I don't know if those names quite ring a bell, but so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, and. And for those watching, Zex is moving on to Winners 4 to fight Calco. So, that, that's a match to look forward to in the future. Great. So, uh, yeah, thanks. This was fun. And, uh, you know, GG Zex if you're still watching. Yeah, so it was, it was quite the amazing race. That's, that's definitely one to to put down as like if people missed it they, they better catch up on this one on youtube all right cool bye right. take care have a good one and with that we shift our focus back to bungaboo and piper again on the same stage this keeps happening <laughs> but but did, but did piper see something piper may have seen something because this is starting to look like what Espeon did. But I don't know if it'll quite go that far. I don't. I, I want to say this isn't going to work, but I've been very wrong about this, so... I, I don't think know what to now believe. it isn't going to work. Okay. I just know the sex in chat taking so long in 2-4 almost got you. I, it, there's, like, you say that, but there really was no telling right until the end. And I've said that a lot, but that was just one hell of a match. Piper with an interesting solution coming together, which I think might actually work. If he can pull it off correctly. Oh, but no, I think he's just lost it at the end there, sadly. Dang it. So close. Uh, that's just how this game seems to go. It likes making you think you've almost got it. Till something slides the wrong way. I mean, it's especially brutal in a stage like this, where it's like, you don't know that you don't have it until it's, like, right at the end. Yeah, it's it's so misleadingly simple with only the one color. You know, in hindsight, I don't know how Aspion solved this stage.
I don't know if Aspion knows how you solve that stage. It was beautiful, myth mythical. I wonder if either of these players will pull it off. Ooh, that is an interesting solution, Sparrow Hulk. Nice. I'm liking it. I can dig it. Uh, yes, that one guy. There is, uh, there has been multiple ways to solve pretty much every stage in this game, which is good or bad depending on how you feel about it. I think if we were playing with the timer, it would, uh, that would be a good thing in the end. I mean, what bad could come out of that though? You um, I, I'd leave that question to my more puzzle, puzzle-minded uh, friends. <laughs> I I just play Picross, and 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 do Hempelis uh, puzzles whenever they show up. Oh. Oh, I see how it's it's a circle. You you f kick the big the one on the end, all the way around, and then push them all together. At the oh, I, I see. It's a spiral. It's a hidden spiral. What is this, Gurren Lagann? Oh my goodness! Wow, that's fantastic. Uh, with that though, I'm not sure if. Bungaboo can do it anymore. And and to think that's such a simple solution in the end, to just keep kicking one block around and around. Deceptively simple. I don't know about you, but it fooled me. It's like I no. probably would have never seen that. I, I consider it a miracle I saw it, to be frank, and I thank Bungaboo for it, because that's the only reason. But I think Bungaboo can still pull this off just because so many... Nope, that was one too many. Yep. Unfortunate. I love that little voice. I love all the sound effects of this game. I I still think there's something sinister sinister lurking beneath. It's too cute. No game is this cute without an ulterior motive. You know, games could just be cute, especially games back in the day. Mm, I don't know about that. Okay, now I'm actually trying to think of a SNES game that was cute until it very much wasn't. Nothing's coming to mind. Bungaboo, you're almost there. You've almost got the Magnificent Tea. So close yet so poor. It's 
Sadly, I'm not sure there's a way to save it. Maybe some convoluted thing, but no, nothing right. simple. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't think it's gonna happen. Well. Come on, Bungaboo. You saw it in action. Piper, now with three blocks, a magic number. Could, I could just solve it right here. There is a way to solve it. Uh, uh, down could work, though it is also Ooh. dangerous. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we okay. go. It's still solvable. I think he sees it. Oh, yes. Man. Let's go, Piper! There Let's it is. go! Woo! It's totally I wonder if a the spiral. solution like that is even possible with the timer. I wonder if, if the T is the only one possible within the time limit given. But either way, Piper moving on. I'm sorry for the yawn, folks. Uh, it is uh, a little late. Don't, here. It's not that. Don't. Don't stream after getting your COVID booster shot. Not because it's... Uh, I'm so tired. I'm going to go to sleep after this race, i got to be honest. But we have one more race after this, spoilers. Oh, uh, and I'm going to want to stick around for that. <laughs> Damn Mystery Funhouse for being so entertaining. And what? such a worthwhile subscription for the price. <gasps> Why? Why must it only be... Is it $5.99? It is $4.99. Why, $4.99? Why must it only be $4.99 to subscribe to Mystery Funhouse and get the emotes? And I, and I can't keep doing that. Okay. You can do so many cool emotes. Like, Thank you, like, Shrambles. Like, you can do this one. See, that's a good one. And you get the classic. And oh, no. appropriately placed as Piper yeah. makes it to the next stage. Back on away. Okay, I went away. <laughs> I had to show that off on stream because not even I have a subscription. Oh well. But it's such a good use of money. It is. Gaining access to... How many minutes do we have? One, two, three. While we were shilling for the funhouse, Piper made his way over to the dreaded 2-6. That Piper did. Ah, but Sparrowhawk, surely you would want to save your clues for for the ever exciting keys to the funhouse, which I don't, I still don't know what it is, but it's something. It's the keys to the funhouse. You know how I mentioned we don't even have the keys to the funhouse? Because we don't have enough clues. Just get a million clues, and you could be the sole owner, or at least the right. sole person who has the keys to the funhouse. I think Raw said once that if anyone actually manages to redeem it, we'll like print out a, a fake key, at a metal, like just get one and mail it to them. <laughs> just because one million is such an absurd number. I mean, I have a ton of old keys, I could just draw a little you know, ghost on it and just mail out the key. Exactly. <laughs> What's the key for? It is a mystery. A drawer of mystery keys. Also, bright shout out your, your earlier comment. Oh good, now I don't have to race that. Ah, uh, that, that's, that's the secret trick to Mystery Funhouse. 
tune in when the race doesn't look like something you want to play. But if it does, immediately just, just well, don't actually leave. Like, uh, we, you know, enjoy the show. But also, you can just say, oh, no, I'm not blind to it anymore because I watched a stream. Darn! <laughs> and, and, and artificially affect yourself. But no, no one would be so sinister as to um, perform such uh, acts in order to influence their possible races. As I sit here, continuing to watch a sliding block puzzle game, unrelatedly, cough cough. <laughs> but, Bungaboo making it to the next stage. Yo. I think that means they're once again tied up. You know, Zex versus Aspion was legendary for the lead changes. This, they're just so close together the whole time. It's... I don't know what to think of this. This is it's madness. It's so snug and close and... It's almost been one hour of like the little gnome with his little footsteps just walking around, pushing blocks. Yes. That it has and I, I feel like... <laughs> I should say again what I said earlier about turning off the music to a game like this. Uh -huh. Because I feel like now it's... Th maybe those of you who doubted me before per perhaps now understand what I'm getting at. I don't know what you're talking about. I still love this music. It's still fantastic. Then you were a stronger person than I. I always loved the, like, just really simple music. It's fantastic. That's what you live for. See, my problem is that it is probably con contributing to me being put to sleep. I am definitely going to be putting on some Motley Crue between races to wake myself back up again. Time it gets low, the music goes into panic mode. It's not helpful. I I don't know. Panic music can really motivate you in a video game. You know, an obvious Sonic drowning joke. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Do you feel like this goal might have been a little bit easier if we had a time room? I don't think so. I think it would have been about the same. Um, to be honest, there's there's logic. I think in a blind race, it makes sense to cut the timer, um, just for the sake of fairness and to avoid, like, say you solved the puzzle but it would just run out of time arbitrarily. But I think in practice, for most circumstances, uh, the timer would not have made a massive difference. Well, I I keep thinking of like two four, like back at two four. It's like none of the racers solved it and I think the intended solution of like having it spiral around. But if you had like say like 30 seconds on the clock, you knew the solution would have to be something simple. And I think it would have made it so the, all the racers would have like gotten to that solution. And not try to like solve stage? it some... Real, uh, two four. Yeah. Yeah, for that stage, yes. So the stage that Bungaboo and Piper are on now, I think the opposite would be true. I think that the limited time would lead you to just uh, sort of lose, <laughs> losing your mind, like what, what am I meant to do in however much time this game is giving me. Apparently Bungaboo's solution was much faster than the intended one. Interesting. But it's not even just speed, it's just, it was probably something simple, like, if you had like a small amount of time, it's like, you probably don't have to like think about it too much, and you probably wouldn't have been stuck on it for as long as the racers were. Counterpoint, so. <laughs> and and I, I, I hate to say this for, for this cute gnome game, but um, 
The timer was probably put there to encrypt. Well, actually, no, this game never got released outside Japan. So it wouldn't have been for rental purposes because, as I understand it, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but the, uh, in the early gaming industry or like at Nintendo, uh, Japan didn't do rentals like America did. So no, actually, never mind, I, I would have been completely off about that. That wouldn't have been the reason why. So yeah, no, maybe, maybe it would have helped solve the puzzles, but that's, you know, I, I still think it can, it would vary puzzle by puzzle. I wonder how much, like, the racers are feeling fatigue at this point. Like, you've been burning oh. your brain for an hour. You had to be like... Almost certainly. You had to be... I, I think any thoughts regarding, oh, is my opponent about to finish will probably have faded. But there, at this point, there it, it, there is definitely the question of tilting, of mental fatigue. Um, and ha how well each player may have paced themselves to sort of handle that uh, could, could very well come into play. Um, it's hard to tell as a viewer, but that's absolutely a factor for longer games. Bungaboo just soak abound himself. I'm not sure what that means, Bright Shadow. So I know what I know what each of those individual words mean, but I don't know what what together they imply. Made a two by two square shape. Ah, I see. Now, while, while we uh, watch these players go, I, I have a question for you all. Have you ever been on the other side of a absurdly niche meme? Like when people say, oh, nobody else is going to get this except for this fan base. Have you ever been on the other side of that and seen that meme, but not, not been in on the joke? Oh, no. <laughs> I've, I, I've been having that because I've not been playing Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. But I'm still in a Discord with a bunch of people who do, and they post memes about it. And it's fascinating what your brain comes up with in order to fill in the gaps. There's there's so much absurdity going on. It's it's actually quite delightful. I I, I have that exact same experience. I I'm in plenty of Discords, and people talk about FF14 all the time in there. And it's like I've played a lot of MMOs. I know a lot about MMOs and like terminology and how they function and how they play out and generic roles and all that. But I see all this FF7, FF14 talk and I'm seeing all these memes and it's like, I might, I think I get this. It's like, I, I, you know, it's like... I, in my situation, I think it's worse because they're meaning about savage, like high end rating content. And specific mechanics in those fights usually tied to a voice line. So they're saying these things and making these motions. And, and I just sort of got to extrapolate what the possible, like, possibility might be that they're talking about. I mean, I, I t just before I started streaming, I saw an FF14 me drawing. And it was, like, memeing about, like, DPS. And it's like... They were memeing about something in particular about what, you know, the DPS roles and whatnot. And it's like, aha, uh -huh, that's, you know, all, I, all my little monkey brain can understand. It's like, aha, uh -huh, DPS, let's laugh at them. It's like, they get all the love and respect. And it's like... And, and you don't even know what the roles are. You may be, it may be a tank. But your, your brain is filling in the gap as, oh, that's a DPS, because this is a DPS meme. Oh, yeah. And, and like, yeah. 
Made you could be calling, yeah. You could be calling the white mage a DPS and mocking it, and it's like, yeah, sure. What what is a white mage doing DPS? And sure, I don't care. Let's just go. I'm along for this joke. I don't get it. I I. But I appreciate to, to it. Who, to those who do play 14, just to give you a reference, and this will, I will phrase this in such a way that it will not spoil unless you have experienced it. But uh, the specific thing that keeps popping up and being memed for me is all reality bends to my will. And if you know what that means, you know why I have no clue what they're talking about. And if you don't, then that's that's just a phrase and it doesn't really matter. Just wanted to share that for any anyone in chat, because I know, especially with role playing, we've got quite a few people getting on the 14 bandwagon. Uh, among other friends, I have a friend who I am somewhat close with, like a friend that I see quite often playing FF14 for the first time and sort of cataloging their experience. And I've been getting like a lot of like the FF14 memes, you know, from him playing the game and him like experiencing and understanding those memes and kind of right. explaining those memes on a basic level that even I can understand. And it's like, oh, that okay. You know, it, that it actually reminds me of a time I was playing WoW just as Shadowlands launched and obviously not anymore, but one thing I found interesting about it was that it was essentially like a museum because I know you cut so out. I kept hearing people talk about you could just walk up to and visit. I'm like, oh, so this is what those those guys were talking about all all that time. It was it, it was actually like I actually would kind of want to see like a WoW instance that's just like here's a world museum talking about how the game evolved over time as one of the front runner MMOs. It's quite fascinating. Yeah. It could be the swan song. It could be the final dungeon. The final raid. It might as well be. Oh, like <laughs> We all wondered who the who the true WoW killer was WoW itself. We all knew it was gonna be WoW, but we didn't know how it's gonna happen. Yeah. Well, here we are. 14 is sort of the new king of the roost. Yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, there there are others like Guild Wars 2 or pr presumably other MMOs that I can't, I'm not even thinking of that are just sort of plodding along doing their own thing. But that's sort of good for the, um, for the whole experience as well. I wonder if these players are starting to overthink this. Like uh, they've been on this stage so long that it may be, uh, the, the, you're not you're not seeing the forest for the trees. I believe would be the way to put it. Yeah, I, I think that's I think that's the correct nomenclature of that. It's Tesla Gex is someone who restarted 14 very recently as the first ever MMO that like respects the player's time. Yes, I would put that as a big reason for its success. I wouldn't say it's the first, or well, maybe the, I don't actually know the timeline of things, but like I know I, I play Guild Wars 2 because it's similar. It uh, also, it respects the player's time in that there is no gear treadmill, whereas 14 respects it by not having absurd grinds. It's, you can pace yourself and have things reasonable. And I believe that's because Yoshi P at, at some point, and I know they've never backpedaled on this, said outright play other games than 14 there, there are more games to experience in the world than just ours and i think they've stuck to that to to be perfectly honest like the main reason i probably have not entered into ff14 is because it doesn't have a grind i actually kind of like that exploring doing quest killing all the boys turning in that quest i right, like that right mentality shadow. right shadow. i would say um 
not even close to 100 percenting achievements i don't think you're meant to be that it's one of those cases where you're meant to choose what you want to spend your time playing you you get to this like because of the way the game is set up um the grind the grind is there but it's it's not you you do not need to exclusively play 14 to keep up with the grind and that is what differs it from um something like wow where i know a lot of my friends who played it said that was essentially the case cry chatter yes but i chose everything well there's your problem So I hate to bring this up, but we are starting to sniff the time, as in, we're about to hit that limit. It's one hour, 30 minutes, right? Oh yeah. At which point, uh, the game is just considered too long for, for the race, and uh, we redraw. It gets decided on progress. On pro uh, but they're at the same point. Well, Piper made it here first. That's true. I will go double check that, but I'm pretty sure Piper made it there first. So if this goes to time, and we're still on 2-6, Piper would get the, the W. Uh, yes, it's essentially matching the blocks in this, kind of like Bejeweled, um, except you need to clear the whole screen, so you can't just match three of a color in this state case. You need to match all of one color at the same time. I'm not sure the pipe can do it now, restarting the stage again. Bungaboo, maybe? Bungaboo looks so close. Like... Actually, yeah, Bungaboo's right there. No, which way? What are you doing? Oh, not that way. Uh... Oh, boy, I don't know. I don't know if it's solvable now. Oh, boy. Yes, yeah, so that each line has to have at least three, but uh, that, yeah, you need to sort of hit that all at once. In this particular stage, it's been consistently easier to do the blues all in a row. And for the pink, you have to do um, in a row. No, Bongaboo. Pushing. <laughs> With futility on the pink block. Oh no. And the restart. Back to the white screen. It's deja vu. I want to say I like what Piper's doing here, but... I have no clue what Piper's doing here. Piper, he's going to get the Ritz, at least. That's that some sort of progress. Might work. May, uh, that's a hard maybe, but... Oh, there, there might be a way. Oh, this one's tricky. Ah uh, yes, Piper can solve it still. You by I think lining up all the blues on the left. Um, I I haven't got Line the brain power two, to figure out the pattern here, but there's three. Piper. I don't see it be, because the the middle block you have to push. 
That's gonna be hard to push to the left without breaking all the, like, doing the three chain. Oh, Bungaboo. Bungaboo, could, could this be it? Bungaboo's sniffing something. But I, actually, I don't know if this could be it. I don't think Bungaboo has it. Oh. No. Bungaboo's doing something. Piper, I also don't oh. think has it anymore. I don't think there's a way to solve it from that position. Oh, they both go yeah. back. Let's go. Wait. Oh, Bungaboo! Oh found my the goodness, Bungaboo! That's how Bungaboo got to just the pink before. Oh, oh, this could be it. I'm liking this. No, 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 not that one first. No, the, well, no. okay, the other one yeah, over, and then that one up, and then that's it, and then that's uh, yes, <gasps> oh, yes. Oh. oh my God, it's happening. Not that one. No, that's last. Oh, wait, is it last? I don't know if it's last. Oh my god, wait, am I, am I wrong? I don't know anymore. <laughs> We've been here too long. All I can see is pink and blue. Bungaboo has consistent progress. That is huge in a race like this. I don't think Bunkaboo can do it from here though. Oh, no oh no. Piper with the reset again. Yeah, I, I would definitely agree that each of them has half of a Tang Pro Ligress. Hey, Bunkaboo, if you, you can just, no, you don't need to bother with that, but it's fine. I'm loving what Bungaboo's doing. Just breathe and think. What 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 pieces go where? You can do it from here. You can do it, Bungaboo. Come on, Bungaboo! If you can pull ahead. Right at the end, you'll win! There's definitely some bias going on with the patterns, and I, I think that... Wait, pulling for the racer with the name that starts with Bun? But there's no Buns in this game! You're a gnome! Still save it. You know, I gotta be honest, I'm not sure what Piper's doing. There's some kind of like triple going on. I don't think it's gonna work out. 
Wait. No, Bungaboo, you can't do it because the wall's in the way. <sighs> I mean, Piper is just pushing blocks and hoping something is coming to work. He is in that state. Okay, Bunga be doing something different. Maybe. Uh. I don't I don't think it'll work. No, Bunga be you're so close you need, you just need to do all that from the middle and you'll have it. I, I would uh, disagree, Bradshaw, because Piper has had moments of clearing one set or the other. So I don't, I don't think we can judge on like an inside the level basis, especially yeah. since this has multiple solutions. Yeah, <clears throat> it's like I, I definitely do believe Bungaboo has the greater possibility of getting through two six first, but if it goes to time. Piper would still take it because they got the two six first. Yeah, that feels like the only fair way to go about this. Just so close, Bungaboo. Yes, and the other one. Wait, no, what are you doing? Evolve. Okay, that's fine. Also, that's pretty nuts, Mythal. Like, yeah, that does not help at all. If they're both just kicked in the same direction, that'll do it. That'll that'll work. Ideally up. I don't know if down will work. Bungaboo, please stop <laughs> looking down. You're giving me heart palpitations. We need that. Let's, let's look at the Mafia thing. Agida? Whatever. And, I, and Bungaboo is so combined. Oh. Should I remind the racers at this point that they have five minutes? I think a reminder is in order. Don't yeah. don't say anything, just just that there's five minutes until progress decides it. Hopefully that doesn't give them too much added stress. I, at this point, you've been playing for nearly an hour and a half. It does. It, there's, there is no like normal level of stress at this point. It's just what it is. All right, Bungaboo, you can do this. I believe in you. Don't kick it last, <laughs> please. before one of them forfeits because they think they're behind. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Bungaboo, please. Doesn't matter. Uh. <laughs> as, as we all just 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 share in in the screaming <laughs> at the screen. <laughs> God. That's oh, that's such a mood, isn't it? Internally screaming. I internally. Have you heard me this past <laughs> thirty minutes? <laughs> Tangible uh, progress uh, would be done when there is tangible progress on the screen. Bungaboo, you're almost there. You're, you're so almost close, there. Bungaboo. Oh, no. Uh. He's just not seeing that that you've got to like stack them on the edge if you want to make it. 
two and a half minutes left on the match. We've essentially at this point, um, it, it's, it is down to can Bungaboo find a solution before time is up. Piper making good efforts, but just, just a bit too far from um, a, a clean solution to really, for that to really be viable in the time left. Bunkaboo, you're so close. It's right there! Come on, Bungaboo! No, oh, you need that one. You'll need it. Well, actually, wait, will you? I don't know. I think you will. Yeah, you will. Seeing this set up too late. No! No! But you, no, if you just do that in the middle, you'll have it. Just in the middle! Ah. If you reset, you can do it! Bunkaboo! Come on, I believe in Come you! On. You're so close! Not, not, not to pick pay favorites. Piper's done very well. It's just Bungaboo is so close to a solution here. Uh, it's, it's right on the edge. Come on, Bungaboo. No, no, no. You've got to do those in the middle first. No. Oh, no. No, I think that might be it. Oh, no. I don't think Bungaboo can save that one. And, and I think I think that's it. Yeah, I'm... I'm a little disappointed that... I'm a little sad. That was so close. The whole match was so close. They stayed on each other the whole time. But that is time. That will and be time. And Piper with the... Uh, with arriving to the stage first. Well played from both. Such a tense end to an hour and a half race. Players are free to continue playing, of course, and try and make the goal, but as far as the mystery tournament itself is concerned, that that is Piper with the win. I don't know if either of our players would want to come in for voice comms after something like that, but <laughs> the offer remains open to them. We, we, we had to tell them our side of the story. I, I can imagine them wanting to review the footage and find out for themselves. That is very fair. Bungaboo says they want to jump in. They're always welcome. Just yeah. tell them to hop in the waiting room. <clears throat> right, Shadow, very right on that. Relief at freedom is Definitely something I could I could imagine our players feeling after a match like that. 
I noticed P uh, Piper hopped into the race chat as well. Oh man. <clears throat> Hello, Piper and Bungaboo. Hello. What a long and close race that was. How are you both feeling? You know, Exhausted. Yeah, that's that's the perfect word for it. That's exactly what this game seems to do to your brain. Is make it itch, and it's in a fun way, though. You know, it's enjoyable. Oh yeah, for sure. It, it was fun. It's just I got hit. I ran into a wall. I guess we both did. Yeah, that two six was just it was just mean. Um, there's so few blocks, and there's so few things you can do, and yet it seems that um, it it's the solution has evaded me still. So. Yes, uh, Piper, you you made it to that stage first. Therefore, uh, go after going by how you both performed in the stage itself, it seemed only fair that you would win. But um, I will say, Bungaboo, you were you were shockingly close to a soul at several points, especially once you figured out those clues. Yeah, it just it dawned on me all of a sudden. It's like, oh, that's that's an easy way to get rid of those. But then there was a whole nother mystery of of what to do with the reds. But um... This is this yeah. is good. This is a good outcome for me because I really do. Tomorrow I have a truck coming that, that and like the computer is the last thing I have before I walk out of this house that I'm in. So um, this ah. is this is good timing for me to exit for this season. So so perhaps the best outcome for all in all. Truly, really. yeah. But but let's not just dwell on two six because the whole race you two seem to be neck and neck. Uh, where every single time we'd glance back and both of you would be on the same stage. It was it was quite something to watch, I must say. I'm really glad to hear that we were so evenly matched because I, I truly feared being outpaced by a large degree, especially when I started seeing some of those um, duns come in a little yes. early. I was like, oh, are you guys... Oh, someone died done. Is that a bug of you? No. Kept looking over, yep. That's a question to ask. How did you both feel seeing Zex and Aspion clear so early on relative to your time? I mean, I knew this since there's only 16 stages, I knew it was pretty tough. So, and yeah. So I knew it was going to be a tough one. I just kind of just kept going at it. I was kind of a, in the mindset of, I need, I'm just going to finish this. It's, best I can. And the difficulty fluctuation on that was kind of a motivational thing too because she would get through a hard stage and then all of a sudden it's like a cakewalk for a stage or two and that would kind of build back your enthusiasm for moving through the stage a little bit after getting stuck here and there. But it's such a like all the puzzles that they present are so simple that it it seems like it's approachable each time even if you're, you're continuously failing um, on a certain level. You know, you say the puzzles were simple. That brings up an interesting question uh, with Elden I had. Do you think that if, uh, on some of those solutions, if the timer had been implemented, do you think you would have found them sooner by mere nature of only having so much time to loot, move blocks leaves fewer options? I know the stage 2-5 uh, with all pink blocks was uh, very prominent in that discussion. Yeah, that's... um. That's hard to say, honestly, without playing with the timer, but I would think that, that the lax timer just eases your whole ability to approach a level and, and gives you one less thing to worry about when... Because really, the game the game is to solve it, right? So adding a timer in is just for, for the challenge mode. Um, so I think for a tournament setting, that's I think that's appropriate to have no timer. I would have felt worse, at least. That's, that's my opinion. Yeah, same. I probably would have, like forget if you pause it, the game pause, I would like pause to look at it first and like try to solve it in my head and then go right. for it. Yeah, I spent a fair amount of time just staring at the screen, not really moving around. Yeah, I think uh, we all came to pretty much the same conclusion about it being more fitting for a tournament setting to, you know, axe the timer. Yeah. Yeah, and this is on my list of, so I usually have like a list of MT I want to play, and this is like actually on my list. So I never got to it, but I'm glad I got to play it. And I'll probably go back and go back to it and try to figure it out. Indeed.
you know, lucky you got to take that off the list. And, uh, you know, spe speaking of the tournament, that's, yep, Bungaboo is out now, Piper. You move on to the loser, to fight the loser of 169. Nice. Who it, which is, if I can find it, uh, Triscorp versus Dormians. So, uh, yeah, that shall be an interesting match for you when, um, they're able to knock theirs out. Yep, looking forward to it. And Bungaboo, an, an impressive playmaking at this far in the tournament. Um, you know, you're like, it, like, you, uh, we always say, oh, O2 is, but it is the meme or whatever, and, and you've, you know, you, you've come this far in losers, and, uh, you know, even, even to lose in this particular round is still impressive to have made it this far. I do feel good about my first push into a mystery tournament, and it, it definitely feels good to not go 0 and 2, even though that's a very possible outcome for many people. But Bungaboo No More is definitely the way it is now. So this has uh, been fun, GG Piper. It was it was certainly a, a good time. Yeah, it was fun. As always, next time. And uh, I will be back. Absolutely. Hell yeah. And again, but great match. Of, like. Speaking of next time withheld, you mentioned we have another race coming up tonight. Oh. If we take a very quick look at the schedule, we can see that in... Oh, it disappeared. But in negative three minutes, there's supposed to be a match coming up. Perhaps we should let them know that the current one has finished. They oh. may be uh, waiting for the all clear to jump on the, and be restreamed after all. Sorry for soaking up so much time. Oh no, you will. Were... Oh, that was not soaked up. That was, uh, li listen, there was, that was not a dull race. That was excitement, even an hour and a half in. In fact, probably more so <laughs> towards the end there. Well, that's a great outcome because there were times where I was sitting there thinking and not moving and, and wondering if the action on the other end was as slow as it seemed at that moment, you know, on my end. So, I'm glad to hear the same thing. <laughs> that, that's something to keep in mind for yourselves and everyone in chat. In puzzle games, it's not uh, less entertaining for blind races to simply stand there. That's how you solve puzzles. It's very possible to just that uh, a, a racer will simply stand still until they find their their route and then uh, knock the puzzle out and, and repeat. So yeah, that is that is absolutely a common occurrence in puzzle games in MT. Perfect. Well, I got to uh, tear down this computer, bag it and drag it across the country, but I will catch you all um, on the flip side, as they say. I don't say that, but somebody says that. Well, take care, Bungaboo, Piper. Good yep. luck in your future <laughs> matches. Thank you. Good luck with your See move, you. Bungaboo. Hope thank it all you, goes thank you. well. Yeah, good luck, Piper. All right, Ooh. thanks, team. And as for the stream itself, uh, we are checking just um, if that race is still going to go ahead. Uh, so don't don't tune out just yet. We may we may be able to light up another one and and get it going right off the bat. With that said, however, I've been sitting for an hour and a half. I personally am going to stand up for a minute. I would recommend a lot of you do the same. Stand up, have a stretch. We we've been sitting here for a while. To be honest, I would like to do that same thing as well. 